on. So this is a demo of an RC circuit. I have it posted here on Canvas. This is RC underscore demo under unit seven, if you want to click grab it. Um, and here is some circuit. I want to add to this an oscilloscope. There are two oscilloscopes. And there's one that I like a lot better, which is the second one. So I like the four channel oscilloscope. So the oscilloscope uh, in this version of multi-sim, the oscilloscope is over on this uh, right-hand side. And there are two, and I like the second, I like the four channel. I'm going to connect A uh, above the set of capacitors and the G ground uh, beneath. I'm going to like do a right click down here and change the color to black. So all my grounded things are now black. That just helps me make sure I have my connections. And uh, let me show you the simulation, and then we'll talk about the uh, theory, the calculation. So I'm going to uh, start with the switch down. I'm going to open up the oscilloscope. And then when I run this, I am going to uh, turn on the simulation. I'm going to click into my workspace. I'm going to hit a space. I'm going to hit the space bar again. I'm going to hit the space bar to connect it to the battery. I'm going to hit the space bar a second time to disconnect it from the battery. And then I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to try to do that all relatively quickly. Not, not super, super fast, but, but relatively quickly. So simulation on space, bar, bar, stop, okay. And then I have this oscilloscope and I have this uh, captured, this charging of these capacitors and then the discharging of the capacitors. In the oscilloscope, you can control the vertical scale with this uh, scale that is measured in voltage. That's the vertical. So I can uh, play with that scale and crunch it down or expand it. Um, it was uh, decent where it was, but I'm going in the wrong direction. There, I like. It. I think I like that. Okay, so these right now are fives, and I'm going up to twelve. Okay, so that's heading up towards 12. You can also play with the time scale. That is this scale over here, and you can uh, shrink up time or expand time. And you want to see sort of enough of the curve. Um, okay. So now I want to know the charging time constant. Not the time to charge it fully, but the charging time constant. And that is the time to charge it up to 63% uh, of the saturation voltage. And it's going up to 12, as we expect from this 12 volt battery. And I'm going to move, I have these two, I call them needles. And I'm going to move the first needle. I want it to what I call the corner here, where this charging starts. OK, and I can do a rough just by dragging it. And then I can arrow uh, and do some fine tuning. And so I can see right here that my it was sitting at 82.791 microvolts. It had a little bit of charge on it when I started. But I'm going to look for the time when that sort of just started to change. And it just started to change. So I'll move back. That was so this was the last time before it started to change. And then I want my second needle, needle number two, to be at a voltage that corresponds to 63% of my saturation voltage of 12. So I'm going to pull out a calculator and say uh, anything but programmer mode. Let me go to scientific mode. I want 63% of 12. So 6.63 times 12 
is 756. So I want uh, this needle to be at a voltage of uh, 7756. And so there it is at seven. So I do some rough uh, and then I do some uh, work with the little buttons here. I want to get to seven, five, six. I'm not going to get exact. You know, I pick one side or the other of it. Okay. So now then the uh, time constant here is uh, this 80.588 milliseconds. So that was the, uh, the simulation time constant. Okay. Now let's while that while we have that let's try to do the theory. So the theory this is the charging. So let's do the charging theory. So let me put the space bar. Let me hit the space bar and hit the it up. The charging circuit starts and ends at the battery. And so what's involved is R uh, four and R three and the capacitors. And that's it. R1 and R2 are not in the charging circuit. So if I did grab my little sniffing tool and said, what's the charging circuit? I want to begin and end at the battery. So here was my charging circuit. No R1, no R2. So the equivalent resistance is R1 and R2, and in that circuit, they are in series. And so the equivalent resistance is, oops, not this is what I wanted to do. The equivalent resistance will be 4.64 plus 2.37. So my equivalent resistance is a 6.77. And then I want to do my equivalent capacitance. So my in my set of capacitors, I have C1 and C2. They're in parallel. There's a connection of wire on one side, connection of wire on the other side. Capacitors in parallel just add. So I add C1 and C2, 2.2 2 plus 3.9 is getting me 6.1. And then that one, two combination is in series with the 5.6 and capacitors in series add reciprocally. So I'm gonna take my 6.1 and do a uh, one on plus 5.6 one on equals one on. So there is my equivalent capacitance for this, 2.919. And then I multiply that. If I take my equivalent capacitance and multiply it by my equivalent resistance, I should get my uh, time constant theoretically. And that, so here's my uh, equivalent capacitance. And I believe it was uh, equivalent resistance was 677, if I'm remembering correctly. And so when I multiply them, I'm getting a 19.766 uh, as my time constant, uh, which is in the same ballpark as this simulated 20. And then what are the units? I have, I multiplied uh, kilo ohms by microfarads. Kilo is 10 to the three micro is 10 to the minus six. So when I multiply 10 to the three times 10 to the minus six, I get a 10 to the minus three. And so I expect my answer to be in milliseconds. Okay, now discharge. So in the discharge part of the circuit, let's go simulationally to the oscilloscope. And we're going over to the other side when it's going down. And again, I move number one. So I see here I'm at uh, 11.987, not quite the 12, but pretty close. And I'm looking to get myself in that corner. So here's, I'm 11.99, and I move to when it just starts to change, and then put myself at the corner. 
And then when I'm going down, it's 37%. So I'm going over to find 37% of 12. So that's 0.37 times my 12. That's 444. So I want the voltage of the needle number two to be 444. I get close and then I use my little buttons to get closer. Okay. So now between where I started and then 37% of that voltage uh, that time was 8.997 milliseconds here in my simulation. So that is my uh, simulation uh, time constant for the discharging circuit. Now I'm going to put the switch down and make another snip. Somehow I ended up with a ghost of my previous snip. Here's my uh, discharging circuit, and the discharging circuit is going to go this way. Like that. So the same capacitors are all involved. So it's the same equivalent capacitance, which unfortunately I forgot, but um, yeah, I forgot. But now the resistance, so the capacitors are the same. The resistance is now R1 and R2, which are in parallel and uh, R3. So I'll do R1 and R2 in parallel. What am I, I just want to clear uh, 1.25 reciprocal plus 1.54 reciprocal equals reciprocal. So the equivalent of one and two is 0. 0.6899. And then I'm going to add that to 2.37. And so now my equivalent resistance is 305. Nine nine, and does anybody remember the equivalent capacitance from before? No. All right. So that is three point oh five, three point oh six. The capacitance was uh, two point two plus three point nine, and then uh, that's the parallel, and then reciprocal plus five point six. Uh, reciprocal equals reciprocal. So the 2.919 was the equivalent capacitance. And then I'm multiplying that by, what was it? 3.06, I'm hoping, I'm remembering right. And I'm getting 8.93, again, milliseconds. Compare that to the simulation, pretty good comparison. So that is the gain. Um, if your if your resistors are along with the battery before the switch, they will be in the charging, but not the discharging circuit. If you're after the uh, if your resistor is after the switch and before the capacitors, that's going to be in both charging and discharging. If you're after the if you're down here, uh, you will be in both charging and discharging. If you're on this other, uh, the, the discharging uh, side of the switch, that will only be in the discharging part of the circuit. And if I were down here, that would only be in charging. So, so this would be in C, in the charging, this would be in both. If I were here, I would be in both. If I were here, this would only be in charging, and here is only discharging. So that's all I can do to you is change where the resistors are. I always have the same capacitors for charging and discharging. Make sure you use the right oscilloscope. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you.